Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Friday, yeah, Friday, the 25th, I forgot what damn day it was, I know it's 25th, it's Christmas, I couldn't remember what day it actually was, so, got up this morning, um, got around, got everything going, basically chilled out, came out here in the hot tub, um, hung out here a little bit, like I try to do most mornings, cold as shit, so, brought the dog out with me, he was out for a little bit as I was in the tub, and like, five six minutes later he started just pouting like a little baby he's barking at me he's growling he's jumping around he's trying to get in the damn house he's like adamant about like oh, i am getting in this house like it is so cold out here his poor little nose is running i'm like you are a total wuss like 100 percent, you've turned into a florida dog man like you used to like we would go in iowa we'd go see my buddy and my buddy and his dad had some lousy shitty dogs and my dog hated so he'd hang out in the van like i just leave the door open the side of the van so i close the door depending on how cold it was but it would be like zero out there and I would basically, at the point, I actually went and bought a propane heater to put in the van for him. Kept the windows cracked. Obviously, he didn't, like, you know, freeze to death. But before that, he would be easily in the, you know, 10s and 20s. The van closed up. I had a blanket there for him and a bed and stuff. He just chill out in the van, you know, and didn't give a shit at all. Just hang out there for hours because he hated the other guy's dogs so bad. He was cool with it. He would go for runs for hours in the winter time and stuff. And he was six minutes out here, and he was whining. It's in the 30s. Like, it's high 30s, but it's still the 30s. And he is whining like a little turd. So I texted my wife. I said, hey, if you're up, would you mind letting him in? So I have to get out of the hot tub in the cold weather and stuff. And she wasn't up, um, or she's in the bathroom doing something. She wasn't that quick at it. So I'd hopped up to let him in. And as I got up to let him in, so I just got almost off of the tub, and she opened the door, and she was there. So she let him inside. He whined like a little girl. So he was such a little, just a chilly little dog. And I realized he's been in Florida later that day. Karen and I were talking about it. He's been in Florida more than half his life. So he's actually more of a Florida dog than he is an Iowa dog. He just, he's from Iowa, but he's been in Florida more than half his life, which is kind of scary when you stop and think about that fact of how, like, I don't know, how long I've been here. Kind of don't realize that you realize like half of your dog's life and he's damn near dead, you know, is that time frame. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting in the process. So, yeah, I went ahead. Um, from there, we basically chatted a little bit, talked, waited for her to get enough time. She's going to go pick up her son up north um and basically they were going to go do some run around the morning gave me a chance to um get her pinball machine out i had to get that thing set up and moved and whatnot so before she took off i went ahead and throw my running gear and got my run done that way in case we end up you know i don't know what we got planned for this today i'm just gonna have it other way be done with it and be over and not worry about it which part of me is like oh, i'm losing all the time because i didn't go super early um wasn't really, I don't know why I didn't go when I first got, she went up early in the morning, but went to go run in, um, got back, she'd already left, so I lost a little bit of time of setting up her pinball machine, but worst case scenario, I just text her and be like, hey, don't come home yet, I need a little more time, you know, or if I got to the point where I realized I wasn't going to make it, I'd like, just come in and I'll figure it out with you here, so went ahead, luckily, um, basically grabbed the thing, went to the other, other room, so I had it all set up, already got, I thought we we're good to go, and sure enough, guess what, it won't fit through the door, I measure the thing, everything fits, I pop the door off the hinges, everything's great to go, but the hallway itself is too narrow. I can't make the swing. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So I was like, you got to be shitting me. So I was like, I tried to put it into the bathroom door and it won't turn. I was like, god damn it. So I take the thing back apart, last thing or stuff. And I'm like, god damn it. So I end up next thing I know, I take the back off. And we got to figure out to take the legs off and dollies and da 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 da. And the whole thing. And I'm just like, okay, I, this took me way longer the first time, but I know what I'm doing now. It should be quicker. So I knock that baby out. I'm trying not to rush too much. I don't want to hurt nothing. I don't want to break nothing. So I get it all apart, get it all put down stuff. I get the thing I find, get it, got out in the main, main living room, get it all bolted back together because I don't want it back in the hole because the hole is, just barely fits. Uh, went ahead, got all of their toys away, got the chairs away and stuff, slid the baby in there, plugged her in, and she still works. That was the big thing. It still works. I'm like, woo, it's working. So we're good to go. We're awesome. We're great. So went ahead, we're rocking around, playing and stuff. And I was like, okay, I played a couple rounds, turned off. I got it on an extra switch on the front door switch so we can basically we'll leave in case I forgot I can just flip it off if we left it off we're doing stuff so no big deal that's all good on the plug-in everything's great covered up with a um, big giant um, like an exercise ball and like you sit on type balls covered up with it in a box and put tarp and stuff so she has no idea really what the shape is going to be per se put the chairs back in front to kind of hide extra stuff and put all the toys and the bags and stuff and the gifts in front on the chairs and the chairs and stuff we're good to go and text her and said hey I'm done you can come home whenever you want all I have left to do is grab a shower so she went ahead. They were done doing what they were doing. They went down to the cemetery uh, to see her, um, his, uh, her son's father's grave and his brother's grave and other stuff. Married the same cemetery. Went down, did that, and they were coming back up. They got here. I was already in the shower. Um, we chatted a little bit. We talked and kind of joked and just like, let, him, let him try the new um, fresh um, made um, peanut butter cup. He thought it also tasted more peanut buttery. Um, I don't know if it's fresher or if it's a different recipe. I think it has a, I think it has more peanut oil in it, and I think that's kind of what it's about. So, 
and I don't know if it actually is necessary that much different that it's fresher, fresher, but I'll do it next year because I'm keeping back some, holding them back until next year, and I'm going to compare it to, you know, this year's, you know, candy next year, brand new, blah, blah, whatever, don't matter. So there's not, they don't take that. And I, think a, I think a couple months to get to the shelf, so there's no way that this is, I think it's a different recipe, but don't matter. That's a whole different story, different time. So went ahead. Um, from there, we basically sat down and started opening up some gifts because it was that weird time frame. He's doing a um, dinner at his grandparents' house, so and it's too late for breakfast, too early. You know, the lunch dinner works. They're doing a three o'clock dinner, so really make no sense to do anything really here. So we didn't really eat. We had some candy and stuff, whatnot, some snacks. Uh, went ahead and started opening up gifts. Everything's going great. I'd hid some little fake. I got little fake cockroaches that I fuck around with. I'll t- torment my wife with them a little bit, so I threw them in their stuff. And I think I got him a little bit in the first one, but I didn't know whose bags were what because I didn't read the thing because my wife did all the bags. You know, so I just chucked a uh, cockroach in every single bag, including my own bag. So I actually cockroached myself, which was kind of funny. So we got through everything stuff, got everything all opened up. We were chatting a little bit, just kind of hanging around stuff and this and that. And I didn't say about the tarp. Just left the tarp there. We didn't see how long it takes stuff. And we're chatting and stuff. And my wife's like, well, what, what's in the what's in the tarp? And I'm like, ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. It's just it's nothing. She's like, well, what? I'm like, don't worry about it. It's just it's not it's not for you. And she's like, what do you mean it's not for me? I said, okay, fine. So I go over there and I basically return these. I flip the machine on stuff. That's not. I grab the ball and I grab the box. And I grab the tarp and I pull it all off. And she's like, oh my god. I just I didn't think we were getting one of those because I've still been looking. She's seen me looking. She's seen me fail twice at buying a couple machines. Um, the whole nine yards was great. Basically, your stuff. We got it turned on. Got the lights working. Got it playing. Played a little bit of stuff. Showed her it's the Beatles making fun of this. You know, rip off the Beatles. The whole nine yards. We were having a great time. I said, guess what year it is? I found out it was her birth year. Music tie-in. You couldn't ask for a better damn gift. Like the thing is absolutely amazing. It's not the most perfect shape by any means, but we both talked about we didn't want one that's perfect shape and all fully restored because it doesn't have the life of one. This thing's been beat up. This thing's been used. You can actually see they tried to pry open the um, where the coin mech is to steal the coins. Like I love the fact that this thing has had a life that it actually you know defended itself against siege you know to be robbed you know it's kind of a cool little story there and stuff and whatnot so we had a good time we got to play it quite a bit it did play a little screwy little once in a while it like it would just shut off and like kind of like it ended the game early out of nowhere and then it also would like add too many points up when it wasn't supposed to a couple times but um yeah i talked to the guy a little bit and stuff and he said it's pretty common in those like because it didn't get played that much which worries why he thought he was selling it and then also the fact that it hasn't been moved in nine years it's been set in the same place for nine years and i moved it so we have some issues right there to look at and worry about in the whole process so we'll see what happens with it and go from there but we had great fun um we think this might have been her son's first time ever playing a pinball machine because she don't remember taking anywhere that had pinball machines when he was little and whatnot so we don't know if he's ever played one before but he was having a blast like i've I haven't been around him a lot kind of thing and stuff because, you know, after when I got here and stuff, the divorce, he went and lived with his dad. So there's a whole thing there. But, like, I've never seen this kid have fun ever. And he was having a blast playing this game. Like, he was just, oh, my God, why am I beating you guys? This is your era, not mine, and I'm beating you. And we just absolutely, oh, my God, it was so much fun. So that alone right there was worth, like, half the value I paid for the machine. Just that alone made it worth so much because, like I said, he got to just really have fun. I actually lost track of time. Normally, he's looking at his watch every two minutes to see when it's time to go, you know, do the next thing go back and play a video game or what he's trying to go do kind of thing so he lost track of time to the point that he wanted to stop at another friend's house on the way out he had to cut that short because he had spent so much time playing the pinball machine so that was a cool feeling um they were gonna go running back up so i hung out here at the house um chilled a little bit it was nice and cool day so i was like i'm not going outside for you know cigar that or it's it's cold so i didn't mess with it so i got a few things done the house done i tried to mess the machine a little bit didn't i didn't figure out anything on it yet so i kind of gave up on it um just chilled out had a great day um karen got back home we um, hung around a little bit. We watched some Netflix. We end up having um, the ham she got from work. We baked it in the oven. Um, we ended up glazing it up. And we also she did a uh, corn casserole. We did a sweet potato. Um, just delicious meal. Like it was a very delicious meal that we had a great time with it. Um, hung out, warmed up enough. I thought, you know, I could probably go outside and get myself a cigar. I bet I could. So came out here, um, chilled out a little bit, had myself a nice cigar. I did pull the curtains. You can see the, the tan behind me. Pulled the curtains, which I left closed. And they're still closed today because it's still chilly in the morning. But um, ended up out here. She came out for a little while. I ended up putting gloves on. It got chilly enough. I put the gloves on holding the cigar out. You can't put your hands in your pocket with a lit cigar. So we watched um, some supermarket sweep out here. Um, one episode. She only made it through half an episode. Had to go and get a blanket. That's how cool it was. Uh, she came back out, finished the episode. By the time that was done, um, I'd already been out here before, started my cigar and stuff. So I was done with cigar. I was ready to go inside. Like I'm like, oh, I'm cold. Let's go back inside. So we headed back in, um, chilled out in the house a little while, just kind of hung around, just had a nice, peaceful, beautiful, peaceful day. 
um, yeah, just wonderful. We've had had better. I've had worse Christmas, a lot worse Christmases. Uh, but it was just simple. It was very plain Jane, very simple. No drama, no nothing. Worked out really, really well. Um, not much more you can ask for than drama-free uh, holiday. So definitely a um, good time there. So hung out, went up uh, heading back to bed, watched a little bit of Netflix in there, and chilled out and called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.